All right, guys, we are back. And it is really fun to be doing YouTube, actually. I, I, I've been fighting this for a while, but I think it's a really awesome thing. So one of the things, because we're gonna attack these things hard and fast, these subjects hard and fast, one of the things I'm a big proponent of that I learned in special operations is that when you have a strong foundation, that's when you can get complex. And what that means for this and what that means for masculinity and us in general as men is that what is our foundation in masculinity? Yeah, we're men. Okay, cool. But a lot of what we are and who we are is a learned process. And most of that is through our early stages in life. So they say from... They say from uh, two years old to eight years old, we are in what's called theta. And when we're in theta, we're in a highly programmable state. This is what hypnosis uses. And when we're in that, we're essentially sponges, but we're sponges for what we see and what we hear and what we're learning and what we're being told. But a lot of that is happening subconsciously because we are in theta. So we are getting masculinity imprinted on us from the people that we respect and value in our lives or the people who are looked at as authority figures. We're getting that at an early stage but we are not able to consciously assess this, question it, and critically think about it. And so what does that tell us? Okay, the fundamentals of masculinity are actually based upon who is teaching us and what it is that gets imprinted on our um, subconscious. So when we take that, we're saying, okay, here is who I'm supposed to be as a man. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. And then as we get older, we start to act and believe and have certain perceptions based upon this foundation, but yet we never had the ability to question it. So what does that mean for us? Well, that means that we have a foundation that was built for us, not by us. And what we want to do is create a foundation that's built by us, not for us because we wanna elect and subscribe to the things of masculinity that we truly believe are authentic to us. Because what happens is when we're not doing that, when we're saying, okay, I'm just gonna allow this, to this automated system to run my beliefs in masculinity, this is what creates inauthenticity with the man that you are. Then that bridges down to sadness, depression, anxiety, uh, unfulfillment, we start to have goals that we end up potentially hitting, but they never actually make us happy. A lot of these things stem from what was given to us because it was never written by us. So as a strong foundation, the first piece we have to understand is that subconsciously we were programmed at a certain age. Cool, nothing against that. It's just kind of the law of how we operate as human beings. It's kind of the law as how we operate as organisms and the way our brains function. So the next step is understanding that from a conscious level, there are basics on masculinity that have been developed predominantly sociologically. So everybody wants to stem into psychologically and most people wanna go into Carl Jung and we're gonna dive into that later on. They want to go into Jung and they want to go into, you know, Freud was actually really the first person to dive into, you know, masculinity very loosely from a psychological standpoint. Jung did obviously the very in-depth version of this that isolated and focused on masculinity. And then from there, what people don't realize is that the social studies of masculinity have really only been developed since about the 1970s. But we have to understand that a lot of this is predicated off of what it is civilization even stems from. And so when we talk about this, people want to make fun of the, the patriarchy and some men don't want to believe it's really a thing. But if you ever want to really look into the patriarchy, it's just understanding, okay, the simple, the simple fundamental piece of why were boys valued and given kingships, which was the ruler and women were not. And women weren't even allowed to really have that ability, even if it was an only daughter. For the most part in history, that never a king uh, a kingdom never succeeded to a daughter. So just look back at that. Now, yes, there are anecdotal figures who did an amazing job when they were given the queenship over a kingdom, 
but it's very few and far between. So when we say there's the society was developed off of a patriarchy, we just have to simply understand that it was based around men. It was based around giving priority and giving ownership of society to men. And there are select cultures in Africa that are ran off of matriarchies, but predominantly when civilization, uh, civilization was created, it was created around that. So the reason I get in depth in all of this is just simply to say, we have to understand our foundations before we can start to really build a new foundation. And then we can start to really change where we're going in our own minds and how we want to get there, right? And the men that we want to be seen as and the men that we want to show up as. So understanding that one, a lot of what was written for you is from your early stages of life when you're in that theta brainwave. And number two is that the cards were stacked in the favor of how men were perceived within society. So sociologically, it is showing that men have a different stature within society. And not only that, this is the key part, guys, men had expectations on them within society. And a lot of that has been driving men to really question their own happiness and if they're even allowed to be happy within life or if they're always supposed to burden hardships and struggle and they're supposed to be the martyrs to give away the happiness in their life so that other people can enjoy theirs. We see this in movies and TV and when we dive later on into the sociological aspects of masculinity, we're gonna dive into some of those theories that isolate those pieces. But right now, it's just giving you guys a base understanding that yes, you are a man today. Yes, you have your own beliefs, right? But a lot of what your beliefs actually are backed by, if you haven't taken the time to question them, a lot of your beliefs are backed by things you never created about who a man is or what he's supposed to show up as. And I hear a lot of guys out there, especially the ones that have father issues, which many men do, if you have father issues, a lot of times it stems from, you know, how you were treated, one. But number two, his expectations of you. And then you always trying to meet those expectations. And when you couldn't meet those expectations, you felt that you let them down. And then you let yourself down. And then you let everybody around you down. So just understanding that there is a lot more complex piece to a basic function of masculinity and who men are today is the first piece that we can take and look at to say, oh, okay, let's start to really have the conversation. I didn't really understand that masculinity was that complex because we are taught that men are very simple creatures. We want to fuck, we want to protect, and we wanna eat meat. Like that's literally what people say, right? They try to break it down like we're simple, but we are just as complex as women in our own ways. And the expectations placed on man, men, especially because the fact that we stem from, civilization stems from that patriarchy, the expectations placed on men have created an environment in which we find ourselves in a lot of limiting beliefs, a lot of um, self-judgment, a lot of depression, and a lot of, you know, just miserable lifestyles, miserable mindsets. We beat ourselves up. We're our, our best critics and our worst supporters. You guys will hear me say that a lot on this channel. So understand there are fundamentals to masculinity. We are going to dive into a lot of them, but this is where I'm going to leave you right now. And to start thinking about is what are the pieces inside of you that you think about as what a man is that you don't actually align with. Take that with you, start questioning it, and start thinking about that answer.